This guide is just to get the vanilla game running properly on modern systems. I have a website linked below for the PC gaming wiki where you can find some more fixes and mods and stuff. The first few requirements you'll need is VC Redist, DirectX, and this Direct3D10 renderer. All of them will be linked in the description. I recommend downloading them all before starting the rest of this video. You can go ahead and install the VC Redist and DirectX files now. They're really easy installs so I don't have to show it here, but we'll install the Direct3D thing later. Now install Deus Ex in a folder somewhere outside of a system folder, like the program files x86 folder don't install it there this goes for pretty much every game especially those that you mod the reason being is that you can run into issues with mods and stuff usually it's like a permissions but it just kind of depends on your computer what i would recommend is making a games folder on your main drive and then installing all your games there to change it for steam click steam at the left top click settings then click downloads and then click steam library folders and then click add library folder and then you can set it somewhere i'm pretty sure you can't do it on the same drive as the default Steam one, so if that's the case, just make a partition for games and put your Steam library there. If you don't know how to make a partition, then go ahead and research that. I haven't done it that much, so I don't want to show it here and misinform people. After that, make sure you right click the folder you just set and do make default folder. After that, go ahead and download the patch in the description. It basically updates the games.exe file to work properly on modern systems. It also has a mod manager and adds configuration for the game, but we're mainly doing it for the modern systems thing. Open the file with WinRAR or 7-zip and then put the two files into the system folder in your games directory. You'll be prompted to replace, just replace the files and then continue. To get to your directory faster, right click it on Steam, click properties and then click local files and then click browse local files. At this point you can go ahead and open the last requirement file we were downloaded earlier which is the D3D10 DRV file and then open up the Deus Ex folder and what you'll do is basically the same thing you did earlier Earlier, which is just put it all into your system folder after that you're done you can launch the game and just play it if you want next I'll just talk about some of the useful configurations and launch options you can use for configurations you should just use the default ones but I'll mention some that you might want to change in the UI section there is a raw input option and this disables mouse acceleration which if you don't know mouse acceleration basically is the more you move your mouse the faster the cursor is gonna move this kind of sounds stupid it's really hard to explain but basically it if you just keep moving your mouse the same speed to the left, over time the cursor is going to go faster. It's pretty disorienting for me personally, so I recommend keeping this raw input thing enabled. And if you do want to use mouse acceleration, I'd also research that because the default one in Windows, which is this option in mouse settings, is pretty bad. In the video options, there is a renderer option, and you can choose between all this shit right here, but I would just recommend the default Direct3D10 because it's highly recommended since that's what we just installed earlier in the Direct3D. 10 file. Then there's an option for FPS limit. I don't think this really matters too much, but if I just set it to your monitor's refresh rate, and if you don't know what that is, then I would just keep it on 60. If you don't know what FPS is, it's shortened from frames per second, which basically means the rate of which images show up on your screen. You can set it to zero if you don't want any FPS limiter. Now in the viewport section, uh, the options are pretty self-explanatory, but you want to use full screen, which will just view the entire game as full screen. Now the reason why you might want to use this is because I've heard it does reduce input lag, and the windowed option will have the game in a window that you can move around and stuff like that. And borderless full screen is basically winded mode but it's borderless uh, you can't move it or anything but you can alt tab in and out a lot faster which if you don't know what alt tab does then just go ahead and press it right now just press alt and then press tab at the same time in the audio section there is a latency option and if you have any audio problems you should try changing the value to the other recommended numbers that this has now a few launch options i'm going to mention is two you can do dash local data with no space and this pretty much stores your saves and stuff like that into the directory you're Selves rather than the my documents folder by default another option is dash skip dialogue which skips the prompt we use to configure the game that's pretty much it for this video if you have any questions or i didn't really answer something then feel free to comment below also i'd like to give credit to this guide and the pc gaming wiki because that's where i researched all this stuff